Yeah. This is supposed to be up here? Yeah. This is a sponsorship? I guess. Is that yours? Yeah, you nah, have it if you want it. Yeah. It's sponsorship. So, uh, welcome to UCF. Yes, sir. I know Appreciate it. You've been here a little while now. But, uh, yeah, what, how did you kind of get established with uh, Coach Mazan? I know you, you played at Auburn back in the day and everything, and, and just kind of when did that relationship get going? Uh, it got going in, what, 2007, seven, eight. Okay. He came down to recruit me. Okay. And little old Thibodeau, Louisiana, and our relationship been A1 since then. Um, okay. So was he at, a, at another school? He was, was before he got to Auburn? So, with Gus? no, I knew of a uh, coach through a player from Destrahan. I forgot his name. Okay. He's a receiver. He's the, like one of the all time okay. best at Tulsa. Okay. We always heard about coach offense, but yeah. I started getting big offers and you know how that go. And he ended up at Auburn. Came down to see me, what it was, 09. That's been history. Oh, that's my guy, man. That's, that's a guy who, as a player, I'd have ran through a wall for because I know he care about us, and definitely as a coach. I mean, he gave me my first opportunity. I'm going to give him my best. So when did you come? You were in the league for a few years, right? And yes, sir. When did you come back to Auburn as it, um, being part of the staff? Um, I was in the league from 2015 to 2020. Okay. And came back to Auburn in 21. Okay. So is this something that's off? Obviously, a crossroads for any any athlete. You know, when those playing days are, are finally over, unfortunately, was did you kind of it was coaching? Was that something that you you thought about, or did maybe the cross paths with coach or someone else just say, hey, maybe you'd be good at this, or kind of how did how did how did you become a coach? You know better than me. <laughs> um, I, I I think it's from being a, a responsible young man at a young age when um, when life was rough, and I handled it well. Um, I think coach seen that and it, it just I was always one of the players who tried to overachieve when it comes to working out things of that nature and Was rated high didn't have the career. I wanted and man coach seen all that he seen my work He seen I never gave up. He seen the smile on my face every day He seen how I brightened my teammates up and he, he took this chance on me and I'm here doing the same thing I'm Doing the exact same thing So what are we doing at Auburn? Is you were like recruiting or player personnel or just kind of different responsibilities? Can you kind of the young guy trying to you know establish yourself in, in the coaching world now? Yeah, it was it was more so of I was like a Swiss Army knife. Okay. Like I was into everything because I knew football. I played in the league. I was I had one of the greatest relationships with the recruits and our players, our current players. And I was that guy that coach could call on because I had our current players ear. I had the locker room, and it, it, it just, man, the, the good Lord blessed me with people skills, and I just be my authentic self. I don't try to be nobody else. I come in, I show my players my tattoos. I don't, I don't hide who I am. That's who I am who I am. Is he going to accept me or not? And man, coach accept me for me. He let me be me. That's why I'm my best. So you were still in Auburn. I guess in January, I'm not sure exactly when it was. You get the phone call, I take it, from coach offering mm -hmm. you the opportunity to come here, not just in you know a staff role, but to be an on-field assistant coach. Like, right. What would, that had to have been a big moment. Still surreal, to be honest. Um, when he called, I had to look at my phone twice, like just to make sure this real. And it was real. Uh, I put the work in. Um, I was ready for the moment. He knew it. I knew it. God knew it, and God made it happen. And. I ain't looking back. Um, I'm finding my way. I'm yeah. learning as I go. Yeah. I mean, I have some great guy, Coach Addy. Man, that's probably one of the greatest men I've been around. That's, he's an open book. Then I have Coach Ruth the same way. Then I have Kenny Ingram and, and Kenny Moore and those guys. Like, man, they welcome me in with open arms. I don't feel like a first year coach, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Like, they got me up to speed. I feel like I've been doing this for a while. And my players feel the same way, so expect some big things from us. When, when did it click for you that you wanted to pursue a career in coaching? Was there a moment as you got older, maybe you were in the pros, where you kind of were realizing this was going to come to an end before too long? Was it when did it kind of happen that you, you got kind of got that bug that you wanted to keep on being being part of the game? 
I always knew I wanted to be a part of a team, whether I was coaching or not. I just needed to be a part of a team with a with a with a goal for something to work towards, you know. And if it, if that team was me running Microsoft, it would have been me running Microsoft. I would have led them, you know. And that would have, that that was my mindset. So I'm not gonna sit here and say like, oh, I wanted this, I want because if I really wanted this, I would have got straight into it after, you know. But man, coach I always knew. He knew how I worked. He knew how I was with the players. He knew when I was at Auburn and it was summertime and the coaches couldn't be out here, I was the coach for my group. I'm not going to say for the whole team, for my group. I was the one pushing my group to get better. You know, things of that nature. So he, he knew all that. He knew who I was. He knew I was never late to anything. And I take pride in stuff like that. Um, he knew when I came in the building, I handled my business like a man. And he never forgot that. So when this came open, I'm not gonna say it was a no-brainer because he could have called anyone, but he called me, and I'm, I'm so thankful for it. Talk about the guys you're able to coach this year. I, know, I guess it kind of starts with, with BJ, Brandon Adams, the most experienced guy. The guy's been here a long time. I know you guys put out a little highlight video of him the other day on Twitter. We saw that. I guess he's looking good so far. So what's it like just kind of having him being your veteran in, in that group? Man, BJ is a guy. He's misunderstood. Um, he's very misunderstood, and he's a ball player. Um, I've seen a lot of great ball players being at Auburn, being around the SEC. The Roger McQuarries, I watched the kid Kool Aid. He's a, all those guys are terrific. He's he's in that category. Um, the goal for BJ is to get get the ball in his hands, and we do that. BJ will be one of the best corners to ever come through here. Um, I'm looking forward for a big year for him. I'm looking for him to lead more. I'm looking for him to do everything better. Yeah. Whatever he did in the past, that's the past we can't control that. From this day forward, he, we getting better every single day at the little things, because that's what's going to matter. Yeah. And I hold him accountable. I think we're in a, we're in a great spot right now. Yeah. Obviously, he'll play a big role. I feel like there's probably a lot of competition. you got guys coming back. You've got transfers who are here in the spring, transfers you added after spring, like yeah. Mac and everything. So what's kind of that competition like in trying to figure out, you know, maybe you're are you kind of trying to identify like your top three corners or what's kind of the your, your goal and the objective of trying to get your position ready to play? Man, the goal is to have all starters. Yeah. So it don't matter who, you just grab somebody and throw them in there. And that's the goal. Um, of course, it's not going to always play out like that, but with this situation, I think it can, to be honest. Um, man, all those guys doing great. They, they listen, and that's all that matters to me. Um, I'm not a guy who look forward to down the line and say, oh man, I can't wait to such and such get here. When he get here, he's gonna get coached just like these guys and things like that. But man, the guys I have now, man, they're gonna get my very best every day. I'm talking in walkthroughs. If we just sitting out talking on the field, they're gonna get my very best because they deserve it. I can't cut them short. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I cut them short. What does Mac McWilliams bring to the group? Because you know he played at UAB for a long time. He was a team captain there last year. I know he's a little bit late kind of getting to be part of this team, but he's played a lot of football. So he's he's a veteran I know you can you can rely on. Oh yeah, he's I mean he's very experienced. He's a dog. Like that's what I love about the room. Like there's gonna be competition, but they all dogs and you can't teach that. That's stuff you can't coach. And if you give me some dogs, I'm letting them off the leash. That's just, that's what it is. You don't, you don't let vicious dogs sit behind a gate. They're going to get even madder. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you got to let them dogs roam around, go get some food. Yeah. You know, go get some food. So when, when we come on between these white lines, go hunt, go get your food. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to let you eat however you eat, long as you do it within the scheme and within our rules. We got rules in the room, man. And as long as you handle your business, go eat and I'm a I promise you when you, it's, it's like I'm like what's his name um um Michael Myers you know how you could be running from Michael Myers but every time you look back he right there when you make a play I'm right there yeah. with all of them from walk-ons to BJ I'm right there and that's that's just who I am that's who I'm gonna be and coach let me be myself so yeah yeah, what is, what is Antoine Jackson showing you? I know he was real young last year playing as a true freshman at ECU, and you know, he's got tremendous talent and potential. I know he was here in the spring, too. A lot of the guys that kind of mentioned him is a guy that's kind of impressing early. What are, what are you seeing? From he's going to be special. Yeah. He's going to be one of the special ones. He's a dog, man. Yeah. He, he, he tried to do everything right. Every 
he he do it so right he make me question coach i'm like wait maybe i should coach it like that you know but he yeah. he's he he's a great young man first he's a great kid he he he's he's just by the book yeah. you tell him be there at seven he there at six getting his body right and then he's coming to the meet yeah so he he's a pro already i could see pro in his future we just got to put it on the field now uh he's a he's a great young man his mom raised him right that, I love that kid. What about Jakari Henderson? I know he's been here. I know he dealt some injury issues a year ago, but you know, I know he's experienced there. Like, how important is he to your group? Man, he's very important. Um, Kari, Kari is a guy. That, he's another guy that's misunderstood. Um, I'm not I'm not even misunderstood. He's another guy that just needed a, a clean, fresh mind, fresh start, and I'm that coach to give it to him. I'm not saying the other coaches yeah. wasn't, but I'm new. Fresh start, show me what you got. And he's been doing that. Kid, he's another kid, like, some of the stuff he do, you can't coach. Like him jumping to 45, I can't coach that. You know what I'm saying? He's quicker than a cat, like. So he do he do a lot of things that you have to coach other guys to do, but it come natural to him. Um, the kid, he's special, man. He's gonna play a lot of ball for us this year. And like I tell all the guys, I can't promise you what stats you're gonna have. All I can promise you, if you do what I ask and you do within the scheme, maybe your dreams will come true. You know, so that's that's how we roll it. Now you were you were at Auburn in 2010, right? When you I guys was. won the national championship, and Ted Roof was your defensive coordinator. So yes, jumping in as a first year on-field assistant, is that kind of ease the transition? You're working with a guy that you know you played for not that long ago. Yes, it, it, it well. I'm when, sure it's different. But. It, it's very different because when I was at Auburn, Coach Roof was uh, the defensive coordinator, but I was starting on offense. Oh, okay. Yeah, so first first scrimmage, yeah. So why you brought it up, I'm gonna okay. tell you about it. First okay. scrimmage, I'm at Wildcat quarterback, Coach Malzahn, the OC, Coach Roof, the DC, first play. 65 to the crib. Okay. So, you know, but I just say that just to mess with Coach Roof, but man, he he's a guy that took me in and, and and gave me the game. He gave me the game. He he told me that he told me his expectations and I every day I pride myself on reaching him. Um he 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 welcomed me in with open he couldn't have got any corner coach in the country. He's an OG in this thing. Um but man they chose me. So I, like I promised him, he's gonna get my best every day. And I know I'm gonna get his best because I know what he stands for. I know everything about him. I know everywhere he's been. I know the players he put in the league. I know the coaches he took care of. His name is good. Like we say, his name good in the hood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I know you gotta worry about tomorrow's practice and you know, the scrimmage the next day and all that stuff. But you know, as a first year coach now, first year you said, I mean, how much are you looking forward to the season? We're in August, we play football this month. Are you, are you looking forward to it as much as these players are? I mean, I try to stay in the moment, but seeing the things on social media, man, I'm so ready to see what the bounce house is like. Yeah, because um, you never, you've never really experienced anything I never, UCF before. I, I never, I never got to, man. And I try to stay in the moment because I know we got to get better. We got to get better. We got to get better. But just every now and then I see those rails on Instagram, man, I, be, I get excited. Um, I'm excited to see what it's like, man. I know I, I was at Auburn, played at Auburn, and that place, it, it rocked. And um, I heard some great things about the bounce house, so I'm looking forward to it. My family is also, especially my, my baby boy and my baby girl. They love Nitro, so I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited, but until then, though, we, we got work to do. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Let's talk to you. Enjoyed it. Thanks yes, for sir. the conversation, man. Appreciate Good luck to you. Thank yes, you very much. Yes, sir.